The upper half of the lower floor is formed by applying coils to the existing walls. You can see that the walls are quite malleable, but it is useful to keep in mind that the potter left the urn to dry overnight before adding more coils for this stage. The coils are pinched into place as before. As the potter progresses through this stage, you can see the experimental urn take on the convex shape, which is a feature of the archaeological example in the museum. This is thanks to the softness of the clay, which became clear through the experiment.